So Jeff and Tara, sometimes we get this question about confronting your spouse and that's, that's dicey, right? Like, a, it's, and that's the word confrontation. Um, and maybe it's confronting them on how they spend their money. Maybe it's confronting them on a relationship because they're pursuing something online with a past love or something. And so you want to confront your spouse. And you guys have done a lot of research on confrontation within the marriage relationship. Enlighten us a little bit there, would you? Well, even that word confrontation gets the body, the blood flowing for people. <laughs> like they're already, so we have avoiders, right? And we have those that say, let's go for it. What, what's the harm? And so knowing who you are, knowing who your spouse is and, and kind of your tendencies towards confrontation is key. And then learning how to understand where your body is at. Mm -hmm. um, so what makes you stressed out? And we've got to work on getting to a confrontation at a calmer place in our own bodies. And I know that's a weird concept, Les. Does that make sense to you as I throw that well, out? So what I, what I hear you saying is that before I confront, I have to be in a place where I'm my best self, mm -hmm. where I am calm and I'm centered and my uh, adrenaline isn't going bananas. Um, and so we're talking kind of more about a planned confrontation there, yes. but I'm not sure what you mean by your, your body. Talk to us a little bit about that. Yeah, we, we love the term regulation and you gotta be able to learn how to regulate in you. Everybody's different, but my way of regulating is different than terrorists. Mm -hmm. And so if I'm coming and I'm gonna be confronting or bringing something that's gonna, I know it's gonna be a hot button, mm -hmm. I need to be able to, do what I need to do to regulate in my body. I clench my jaw, I do this with my fist. I didn't know I even did that. When I figured that out, it, it gave me a warning. It was became a warning sign that, hey, uh, do what you need to do before you uh, go have that conversation, otherwise that's not gonna go well. So it's, yeah. it's kind of a, an awareness of a, an, a body awareness um, that, oh, this is kind of my tell. Like I'm not, I'm not really being in the best headspace right now because my fists are clenched to that kind of thing or what? Yeah, Absolutely. it's say, saying that if I push this and ignore this in my body, the tells, I'm going to go into conflict and conflict for me is going to look more intimidating. It's going to be, look different for Tara, but that's me. And I need to regulate that before I go have this conversation about money or okay. about our intimacy. So you have the confrontation in mind. You want to get to that that space, be aware of your, your body, regulate that, as you say, and then uh, what do you do to put that issue out on the table? What's your advice? To yeah, we always say, ask, it. when's a good time? And then you give the title of the conversation. And when's a good time to talk about finances? I really would like us both to come. And we often give a scale from one to 10. One is I'm really calm. 10 is um, I am stressed out of my mind and I'm going to be, and we can usually only have a good conversation when our bodies are from a one to five. So I need to have a conversation, Jeff, with you about finances when we're both calmer. When's a good time for you? And now we're both going to that conversation. He's knows that we're going to be talking about it and we're both working to regulate our bodies. So that is one way to be able to go into that conversation. Then we're going to do our best to listen to one another. We might even have to take a time out to go do some regulating and then come back. We might not be able to solve it all in that conversation. And it's, but we it's always, a, it's always yeah. okay for the other person to go, uh, I'm, I won't be ready to talk about this until tomorrow after I get home from work and I have a meal, that's when I'll be at my best or whatever. Yeah, or I'll right? be they, hangry. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's absolutely. You guys, that's super helpful. Thanks as always.